The main gap we need to address regards our ambition in the provision of global public goods. Protect the environment, preserve public health, pursue an economic recovery for all. These crises are intertwined and they must be addressed simultaneously. At the G20 summit in Rome, the international community showed its readiness to act together. We must build on this momentum with urgency and determination. Closing our gap in ambition requires courageous and effective multilateralism. From climate change to the pandemic, we face pressing and truly global challenges. We must move fast to cut emissions, improve access to safe vaccines, support the recovery in the world's poorest countries, and we must stand united. One's failure to act can mean defeat for all. During Italy's G20 presidency, we committed to keeping the 1.5 degree target within reach and to cutting emissions substantially starting from this decade. We overcame protectionism in medical goods and secured sizable vaccine donations. We supported the IMF's decision to issue new special drawing rights and enable their reallocation in favor of countries in need. But we must go further, pursuing more ambitious objectives at the COP26, resolving logistical hurdles in vaccine distribution, increasing funds for fragile countries. Above all, we must stick to our commitments. Our credibility depends on what we do, not on what we say.